Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April 2021. How are you doing Scorpio? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope you have your emotions in control right now. <laughs> We're still experiencing the full moon's energy, so be patient with yourself my lovelies. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe so you can get the newest updates of the videos going up. For those of you guys that have been here with us for a while, welcome back, my lovelies. Okay, let's see what spirit has for you, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's get right into it. In regards to communication, the element of air, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles speaks about a new beginning. This can also represent communication with an Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I see a new beginning coming towards you guys. For some of you guys, this could be making plans to change residency. There is some type of major purchase that is going to be coming up in the month of April. I feel that you guys are ready for this. It's almost like what they're saying is you've outgrown wherever you're at right now or the situation and circumstance. So for a lot of you guys, this could be you guys looking to purchase your first home, for others of you, it's just purchasing or moving um, residency from where you're at right now. There is a feeling of like, I'm ready to start. I'm ready to um, continue growing is what they're saying. So again, if in the month of April, you start making plans, do not be surprised. Take it slow and steady. Um, don't rush into anything. But definitely, if you feel like you've outgrown the situation or you've outgrown where you're living right now, Take the leap of faith. This is really going to bring a lot of new beginnings and stability for you, Scorpio. Now, in regards to finances and career, we have the devil card here. So the devil card here with the ace of pentacles, a lot of, I feel that you're going to be getting a lot of recognition. And this is something that you guys have been experiencing for the past couple of months. Uh, the devil card could represent Capricorn type of energy. I feel that there is people that are up the ladder in your business or career. They're definitely taking notice. There is one specific individual that is very, very interested in you, Scorpio, regardless if you're married or not. I see them really like they're going to help you <clears throat> elevate yourself in the career or in the workplace. But I feel that they're doing it out of expectation. That's if you're not already dealing with that. If something within you is telling you, like, this person's really cheering me on, but they're giving me this vibe, like, you know, they're interested in me. Yeah, they're definitely interested in you, and they're definitely wanting to come forward or uh, let you know that they're interested in you. Could be something sexual that they're looking for. So, again, if you're single and you start to have this connection with someone in the workplace, just be mindful. Um, I don't see it... Uh, progressing into anything serious. I just feel that they're wanting to attain or wanting to have you basically lusting after you, Scorpio. Now, in regards to your blockage, um, the element of fire, we have the 10 of pentacles. So again, I see a lot of recognition for you guys. I see a lot of uh, major finance uh, growth. You go from the ace to the 10 of pentacles and the devil card can also represent the material. So Again, if you have very high expectations or if you're really putting in the work to achieve certain a certain type of success or certain type of financial stability, I do see you attaining that, Scorpio, but it's going to be very important to maintain yourself focused and determined. Do not let, especially if you're dealing with someone, like I said, that is really wanting to push you or help you grow in your career or in your field, um, like, don't start to slack off only because they're cheering you on. You don't want to, you don't want to uh, make others around you think that there is like some type of preference going on. You want to know, because in reality it is, they're saying in reality you have a very strong work ethic. So that is definitely going to come through. But you don't want to allow or give room for other people to say bullshit just because they're hating. Do you see what I'm saying? So do not get your foot off the gas basically keep doing what you've been doing and you will be able to attain stability and a lot of financial growth that's coming towards you guys i see major finances uh stability in your finances scorpio for the month of april now in regards to your emotions you have the eight of swords 
So the Eight of Swords could represent feeling a bit stuck, feeling a bit, um, a bit stagnant in the relationship for some of you guys. You could have been dealing with a situation where you were dealing with the person that perhaps you shouldn't have been dealing with, whether it's you in a committed relationship or whether it's the other person that is in a committed relationship, perhaps they gave you an offering or told you that they were separating, that they were no longer with the partner and they wanted to offer you something uh, stable with the devil card. It could have been that it turned into a sexual relationship. And now there is a feeling of like this person is definitely not wanting to pull away or they're definitely, they deceive, uh, deceived you basically. Uh, with the Eight of Swords, there's a feeling of being restricted. There's a feeling of, you know, you lied to me. You're very much in your head right now, Scorpio, if you are dealing with this situation. What they're telling you is there is a lot of abundance and success coming your way. Do not let that deter you. Do not let that confuse you. Do not drop the ball right now because your power to manifest is very strong right now, Scorpio. Do not let other people distract you. Now, for those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, it could be that there is a bit of stagnation in regards to uh, whether it be sex or there is uh, kind of like you guys have lost the passion for each other. I feel that this is more to do with you, Scorpio, being too much in your head or being a bit insecure. What they're telling you is get out of that state of mind. Uh, learn to be a little bit more optimistic or more positive. It's going to make a major difference in the connection. I feel that right now you could be very defensive. Like if your partner uh, gives you constructive criticism, it could come off as like they're just being an ass or she's being an ass, whatever the situation may be. Um, but in reality, you're just taking things a little too personal right now. And it could be because you're too much in your head. Now, Spirit's message here is exactly what I just said. With the Eight of Pentacles, keep at it, Scorpio. Keep putting the effort. Keep working towards your accomplishments, towards your goals. You're definitely going to see the manifestations. Um, if you haven't already, you're going to start to see the growth and advancement in the month of April. But they're telling me that's not the end of it. I feel that for a lot of you guys, major finances are going to be... Uh, manifesting and unfolding before you for the month of April all the way to the month of June. So again, take those opportunities, Scorpio. Now let's see what the Oracle uh, advice is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April. Let's see what Spirit's direct message is for you. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of April 2021. One. All right. And we have seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. So for a lot of you guys, um, what they're saying here is pay very close attention to your intuition. I feel that spirit guides are very around you. For some of you guys, if there was some type of transition in the family dynamic, um, what I mean by that is if there was almost like some type of loss it could have been a you know a family member someone that passed away or that is no longer in the physical aspect they are definitely coming around you pay close attention because i do see a lot of like animals that have wings coming towards you take that as a manifestation or acknowledgement that they are present and they're trying to guide you or letting you know that they are around you and that they will help you on this path of your life so again it is about being grateful, being thankful for the, you know, the signs. Uh, pay attention. I feel that for a lot of you guys, uh, you may be very much in your head right now where there is almost a feeling like, uh, for some of you guys, even feeling a bit confused, um, but that's quickly going to be changing. Also, if you are feeling like uh, there's a bit of restriction within you, there's some type of resistance going on, try to clear your seventh chakra. You may be dealing with a blockage there. All right, my lovelies, I hope that uh, this messages uh, help you in some shape, way, or form. I wish you guys the very best, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.